from my heart, there's many people that love God, man. You know what I'm saying? Why we ain't out here yet, man? You know, I'm pretty sure 144,000 praying. If it, if it, all y'all do is call the name of Jesus, we have been out here, man. You know, that can't be that can't be the right name. That can't be the right method because we're still here. You know, because he said once the elect is sealed, then we good to go. So it, it, everybody ain't woken up, but here I go. Everybody loves loves the Lord. You know, if, if we walk past, you might catch out of 10 people, you might catch one atheist. But if I spend a week out here, I'm pretty sure I'll run past 144 different, 144,000 different people, man. You know, I can go down to fucking Mighty Grind and ask niggas on Demon Night they love the Lord. You know, do you believe in God? Yeah, I believe in God. Yeah, I believe in God. But shit, why we ain't out here yet, though? Because in the, they ain't believing in the right way. They ain't believing within. You can go to church, wear your, wear your little outfit, your suit, wear your hat. Little, some bitches not wearing the skanky, tight hair, ties, fitted dresses. And you see all this shit, you know what I'm saying? And you go in there, you, you wave your hands, you amen, uh, uh, you praise the Lord and all that. Instagram type amen or do this and that, like this if you believe there's a God. But you, where the fuck are you at, man? You know what I'm saying? None of the prophets... At the end of the day, we ain't asking for no fucking money, but this is a, a major point. None of the prophets should have to work, man. You know what I'm saying? Because we should hold hold them up, man. That, you know, of course, I got to work here. I don't give a fuck about working or not, but it's just a point of the matter. Because you know niggas won't be quick to say, oh, y'all, they, they bum, the bumite campaign or whatever. But look, prophets ain't supposed to work. The elders ain't supposed to work, man. You know what I'm saying? But you got niggas that want they own they want to be looking like the elders. They want the the recognition, man. They won't go out like comfy, man. They want that comfy deal. They ain't come around yet though, you know. But the point is, basically, you know, you're supposed to hold up the prophet. You're supposed to treat. You're not, you're not supposed to try and down the righteous, man. Okay, go ahead. It says, "Yay, <clears throat> yay," and that knowing they must die. Knowing you must die. You be talking all that shit. You be hating the law. You don't want to uh, honor the Most High, especially damn white people. Y'all like to say, oh, God doesn't exist. You know you got to die, man. Okay? That's why you're trying to live so long. That's why you're trying to prolong your life, man. All these supplements and, you know, uh, head body transplants and all that because you're scared to meet the Most High for all your wickedness you've done in this earth. You're going to have to uh, receive your judgment, man. Okay? Right. He says, for as the things aforesaid shall receive you, so thirst and pain are prepared for them. Yeah, so that's why we ain't, you shouldn't be worried about the two-thirds, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, like uh, I, I believe Elder Gabar is saying, like, we see somebody walking by, and, you know what I'm saying? They doing us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it, it's grievousness, but you know, they don't spaz out on that shit, man. Fuck it, man. What are you going to do? You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, you see a, a flaming faggot walk by. You know what I'm saying? If you trying to bring out a point, fine. You know what I'm saying? But you walk by like, I could just curse you out, but what is it going to do? You ain't going to do nothing but talk shit or, or come back at me and scoff and fuck up the lesson. You know what I'm saying? The, you no, know, like, it's fucking flaming fade. You know, you're going to get put to death. Why well, don't worry about you? I just, yeah, my God. You know, fuck that, man. That's, that's you brothers and the truth, man. You know? You see, you know, lesbians and all that, man. That's This is America. You forgot? You know, you ain't in the kingdom, ain't no reason to spaz out, man. Don't get comfortable with it. I'm not comfortable with it. I see this shit, my mind like, motherfucker, here. But if I sit there and say it to him, you know, what, what, what did, what, what, what accomplished, what, what did I accomplish with that, man? Now, if I'm going over, uh, uh, uh what, what's going to happen to a flame or what's going to happen to, you know, these lesbians out here and this and that, and the lesbian walk by, then I'm not going to use her as a, uh, use her, use him as a point, man. You know what I'm saying? And tell them, uh, uh, tell them the judgment. Or well, if they won't stop and listen, then I'll tell them the judgment, man. You know what I'm saying? But you want, you see all kind of atrocities, man. The most I say we have to behold grievances. You know? Go ahead. For for it was not his will that men should come to naught, but they which be created have defiled the name of him that made them, and were unthankful unto him which prepared life for them. Yeah, they're unthankful at the end of the day. They don't appreciate greatness, man. You know? I tell little kids that. I work with little kids, man. But like, why you, you know, you know what I'm saying? Why you, I say, man, you got to be patient. You got to appreciate greatness, you know? 
Like you gotta like just sit there and, and, and marinate in that. But these niggas, you you hear it is, you'll be sitting next to Anderson Silva and just this nigga think he know how to do karate. Y'all do that type of shit. Because guess what? You did it to your house shabby and it was here. This nigga think he holy. You know what I'm saying? I seen somebody said, uh, somebody said, man, you know, as far as these women, you can have, they say you can have the Lord as your husband, you be talking shit about him. Talking about he a deadbeat, he ain't never home, you know what I'm saying, this and that. Like, you don't appreciate shit, man. You don't appreciate greatness, man. So you, you ain't gonna appreciate the most high, okay? You look at the, you know, it's hard to say, but you look at the bright side of things when you're dealing with the work, you know what I'm saying, you're dealing with this truth. You know, and you just keep on looking for the, the good in that, man. Fuck, fuck this world, man. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be destroyed anyway, man. And th and if the world wants to stop and listen to what you gotta say, then you curse them the fuck out, man. But if they going about their merry old business, if you making a point about them going about their merry old business, and they gonna be destroyed for that, fine. But if it's just some random shit, man, fuck that, man. You know, he said be not, he said be concerned for others that be like thee, man. You should be intrigued about. Elder Tahar's wisdom, man. Elder Gabar's wisdom. Elder Ramla, all the elders, elder apostles' wisdom. You should be intrigued about that, man. You know? Go ahead. And therefore is my judgment now at hand. These things have I not showed unto all men, but unto thee and a few like thee. That's right. And that's the elect, man. Okay? Everybody don't got the um the vision of basically America being destroyed and, and, and the, the importance of salvation, man. The importance of what the kingdom of heaven is going to be like, man. They don't have that 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 uh, future image. They don't have that self-preservation, self-concern. They don't have none of that, okay? They're not living on this planet, man. They're living in a different world, okay? Or re really, we're living in a different world, okay? When we walk in and, and we carrying ourselves in a certain manner, they be like, man, this motherfucker here. You know, like I, my relatives look at other people in my family like, oh, this man, no, thank God for this person. You know what I'm saying? All they, you know, it bless you with material things. You know what I'm saying? But when I'm out here with the with the acumen, and we doing the work, you know, they week in, week out, I, I went from a nigga, a nigga in the street, you know, to 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 uh, preaching out the scriptures, you know, on on the level of a doctor overnight. Like you got a PhD in scripture overnight, you like that's some regular shit. A nigga, a nigga let you use a car or give you a couple dollars or thank God for this person. This such a great person. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of shit I be talking about. And most high destroy them type of people, man. You don't have no appreciation of greatness, man. You know? Go ahead. Then answer I and say it. Behold, O Yahweh, now hast thou showed me the multitude of the wonders which thou will begin to do in the last times. But at what time thou hast not showed me? Uh, second Ezra 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time where the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Yeah, so you got to measure the times. That's why you gotta appreciate greatness, which is the scriptures, man. You gotta be into this, man. It, it, it's like this this scriptures is, is telling you about the uh the, the uh the story, this movie. And the movie about the end, so you gotta really get the you know what I'm saying? Like you watch a movie, you gotta watch it over and over again. It's the same thing with the scriptures, man. You gotta keep reading it over and over again. Let's go it's it's parts you always gonna miss, man. You come back, I ain't look at it like that. You know you watch some mob movies. You know, you can watch Scarface and Godfather over and over, like, I ain't, I ain't see that little hint. I ain't see this, I ain't see that. You know? Fucking like uh, 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 Expendables. It has no plot. It's just, it is, it's shooting and you get the girl, you know? Like, I really expected a twist and I, I was like, it's, this motherfucker is plain as day. They got straight to the fucking point, you know? That's entertainment, man. We're not, I'm not looking to be entertained. We're not looking to be entertained. We're looking to be enlightened, okay? And that's what the scriptures do. Now, if you want entertainment, you go to T.D. Jakes and all that shit. That's why the congregations are so big over there. Because niggas like to be entertained, man. You don't want to be up here like, like the two females that walked up. You don't want to be up here listening and being educated. You know? You should, you know? You got to get you a seat. You got to get you a notebook. 
Niggas don't want to get notebooks and, and, and have the type of squat for this type of stuff. They want to dance, have an in, intermission of dancing, and then have a choir sing, you know what I'm saying? And then after that, have a fucking supper, all that dumb shit for you to go to church, for you to get the word, you know what I'm saying? This ain't no fucking party, man. You you do all you did not partying on Saturday, man, right? I'm just speaking as, in, in that context. Now, what if you a, a conscious nigga, man? Trying to come up on everything and build your own. Man, all that shit is foolishness, man. You need to be getting your notepad and, 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 and scholarship and your scriptures, man. Your, 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 your wisdom and your PhD, your doctor's degree in these scriptures, man. Okay? Go ahead. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Yep, earthquakes and uproars of the people. Now that's going on, man, especially, at, you know, you have, you, the earthquakes is, is been sporadic. But the uproars of the people, you know, it, it, it's going on at the same time. People say, oh yeah, earthquakes all the time. You got uproars, what about the Civil War? What about, you know, the old black walls? All this shit is happening at the same time, though. Okay, storms in diverse places, the South Carolina, uh, South Carolina situation, Utah, I had a flash flood in Utah, you know, uh, uh, um, fires in um, California and not even having water, okay, then you have uh, earthquakes, then you have uproars of the people at the same time, then you have rumors of wars, all this going on at the same time, man. And it's damn near about to boil over on every uh, uh, every level, man. Okay, go ahead. For like as for like as all that is made in the world has the beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Yeah, the end is manifest, and, if, and the end is going to be in, um, coming to fruition. It's not going to fade out and be like it was supposed to be like that. But I'm gonna stop the story right here. You know, it's going to manifest that the so the so-called white man is a devil. It's going to manifest that everybody ain't supposed to come together. It's going to manifest that America's going to be destroyed. Okay? All that's going to manifest. Everything. So when y'all say, oh, we'll see in that day, it's going to manifest that you're going to be hit by that nuke. When you when you hear them talking about they about to launch their missiles or, or whatever. Or when you, you might see beforehand when they talking about Russia and say they're going to shoot a nuke over here. You know? It's going to manifest like, oh, shit. You know? This is the flame of, this is the lake of fire. You know, you're going to manifest, man. Okay? Go ahead. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. Yep, same thing. Same was a movie and the same as a, uh, uh, the Most High with, it, with this movie here, man. This thing has a plain beginning and a plain ending and effects, signs, and wonders, man. Okay? Go ahead. And everyone, everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. Yep, yep, that's whereby ye have believed. Your works and your faith, you got to believe in that. You can't just do it. Well, I got faith that the Lord, like the church, I got faith that the Lord's going to do this, the Lord's going to do that. And you ain't got no works. Your faith ain't legit because if you have legit faith, if you really believe in that faith, then... Or you really believe in the Lord coming back? You would, you would do something, man. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you, uh, your mom, you stay with your mom. You, your mom and dad got separated, and your dad said, "Look, man, I'm about to come pick you up, son. We about to go, go to such and such theme park this weekend." You know what I'm saying? You believe your dad, you'll, you'll get dressed. But when your dad keeps standing you up with you.